All right, um, this is the overview for the course and I'm gonna start uh, by going over the syllabus. So if you look on your uh, Moodle page, come down here and it says course syllabus and there we are. I am teaching um, two CRNs, the same course. I'm teaching uh, online art appreciation um, there's 1957, which is right here. And then I, the other one is 2317, I think. Um, so if you have a different CRN number, don't worry about that because it's the exact same syllabus. So let's go through uh, the information here. This is a 100% online course, summer course. Uh, okay, I'm Jan Kimball. Um, I don't have an office, uh, we're all online. Uh, the best way to reach me is through the school email address. Uh, here's my home phone, but um, only I'll, uh, I don't really pick up numbers I don't recognize. And also, if we were going to have a conversation, I would want to have you know be able to give you my full attention, not be in the middle of something. So um, if you want to talk to me in person, set up a phone call. It's most people uh, are able to communicate with just email, it seems to work the best. Um, but I am available if you do wish to uh, have a conversation. So like I just said, email is preferred communication. Uh, we don't have a department here. I think we're getting one soon, but right now. Um, but if you did uh, need to talk to someone, um, the Dean is Keith Howell. So he's not the department chair, but you could contact him if you needed to. So this is Art Appreciation. Um, I'm gonna let you go ahead and read these if you want to. Here's the course description, the course structure. No prerequisites. Here's the uh, outcomes and um, uh, course outcomes. So you'll see when you look, sometimes you'll see um, on Moodle, uh, there'll be a topic and then next to it, it'll say CL01 or CL04 or uh, sometimes it's module objective for just that module. So what that means is that that information you're getting is aligned with these outcomes. <clears throat> And you don't really need to do anything with that. I think it's just a way for you to say, see, why are we learning this? And it's because this is what the course is about and this fits into it that way. It just gives you some background. So we do have a textbook. We do have, there's one thing with this textbook. Um, it's out of, they're not producing anymore, but the school contacted the um, publisher and I uh, was able to uh, produce it for uh, us. Um, you can get it on an online edition. Um, it is, I think, only in black and white, which is unfortunate. There are still copies because we've taught this course a lot. So there are used copies around. And even, I just looked, I just checked up for somebody um, to see, and I saw on Amazon, there were some available. and. Uh, for and it costs $17. So it's not an expensive textbook. You should be able to get it. Uh, if you have problems, there is, I think, a copy in the library, uh, the school library, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and um, just if you do have problems getting the book, let me know. But um, I, I think that uh, you that you should be able to. We won't need it for the first few weeks. <clears throat> we won't start using it until um, until then. The other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna watch a video. Now the video, um, you you're gonna have to run it, I believe. Um, some, uh, it has been free online at times, but it, I don't think it is now. If you find one, good. But I think um, it's only $5 to run it through Vimeo. And <clears throat> on Moodle, I have a link to that uh, where you can rent that. Uh, there is, we do have a copy of this, um, a DVD in the library. If you're, uh, I know some of you might be not near, being it's an online course, you might not be near the campus, but some of you might. So uh, if you 
you know, want to check it out at the library. It is available there. Um, but uh, we will be watching that probably next, I think it'll, it'll be next week when you'll need to see the, that video. So our textbook zone is not too much money. And so I, uh, you know, think it's okay to ask you to rent a video, but uh, we won't, there won't be anything after that. <laughs> Uh, so the book and the textbook. Uh, sometimes you'll need some, we'll do some projects, so you'll need some materials, but that'll be things that you probably have, you know, around the house. Um, you will need to be able to use a computer, which if you're listening to me now, I'm sure, I think, I don't think there's anyone born anymore that isn't born using a computer. So let's see. But you, I guess the one thing is you do need to have a reliable computer with uh, access to it to be able to uh, get your work done. Um, so uh, our this course will have, um, it'll be divided up into modules. Now, normally this course is a 14 week course and for summer it's 10 weeks. So it's still the same credit amount. So we need to do all 14 weeks. So they will be kind of smushed into the 10 weeks. Um, you'll see a schedule I have at the end. Uh, so <clears throat> we will. I will post information for you on Tuesdays uh, by one o'clock and then I'll also post um, anything else. Uh, we'll probably have to do uh, two postings a week uh, for most weeks to uh, cover everything. So it'll be Tuesdays and Thursdays basically. Um, now you can look at the videos when you want to, because they will all be posted in a video form. Uh, but what you will need to do is to turn your homework in on time. There'll be due dates. So as long as you look at the video, look at all the material and do your homework on time, you should be good. I'll go over that more also. So there will be um, discussions. Um, uh, We'll have some the discussion forum where you'll uh, be able to see what each other is working on. And then um, you'll have your book. And then we'll also do written assignments. And sometimes there'll be uh, projects. So each uh, session, I will post a video. And then there'll be a series of uh, resources for you to check out other videos, artists to look at, or things I want you to read. Um, that will be posted on Moodle every week. I'll open them up each week. Uh, so for your grade, here we have method of evaluation. Um, <clears throat> uh, the way it, it turns out, uh, this will all be 100%. Uh, percent. So each week uh, we'll have two, probably two to three assignments a week, small assignments. They will all add up. They'll be one, two, three points each. So they'll add up to 45% um, of your grade. You have a 5% attendance and participation grade. I'm obviously not going to be taking attendance. Uh, the way that I will judge that is if you're keeping up with the course. The course is designed um, that you, in a way that you want to follow along with the course. Um, so if, <clears throat> if every week you get your, you know, you turn your assignments in on time and do the uh, post, you know, things in the discussion, then I'll know that you're keeping up in, uh, in the course. And that's what I'll count your participation on, is uh, that you participated. Uh, there will be a midterm and a final project. And as you can see here, they are heavily weighted. Another reason to do the assignments every week is that for the first half of the semester, the assignments that you're doing uh, will all uh, kind of end up uh, being used in the midterm. So if you're doing the homework every week, uh, if you get something wrong, um, I will tell you what it is and you can redo it. Um, and so uh, you have a way to make sure that you uh, know everything that you need to know for the midterm if you're doing the homework. If you skip the homework and then do the midterm, um, it doesn't usually work out that well. Uh, this is not a hard course. The Where people mess up is where they just um, don't do the weekly homework. Uh, and then tried to uh, just do the midterm and the final, and um, they usually don't pass if they do that. <clears throat> so the mid, like I said, they're both weighted. Um, the midterm and the final, I will not accept late uh, admissions. And um, um, let's see, yeah, that's, and so all this comes to 100%. 
So when I grade people, especially online, because, you know, I'll get to know you, but not personally in a person, you know, face to face kind of way. Um, grades are never personal. It's just, uh, you know, you do this work, we grade it, mark it, and then it comes out, say you get, you do all this and you get 88. Um, you get 88%, you missed a few, uh, few assignments. Um, so then we'll come down here and 88 would be a B plus. And that will be your final grade. So uh, yeah, you're, uh, in this course, your assignments will be submitted online. There'll be a place to submit them. Um, let's see. Uh, accepting work. Um, what I do, uh, it's best to just get the work in by the due date. What I do is I do usually give a little grace period. So you have a few days, if you don't, um, I have like the due date and then a cutoff date. Once the, the cutoff date uh, is hit, then I close the assignment and don't take it anymore. But if you get it in and those, uh, there's like a few, like say I might be due on the 15th and then I'll make the cutoff day like the 17th or the 18th. If you get it in by the 17th or the 18th, I'll accept it. And then after that, uh, we're just moving on. <laughs> So, um, but it's better to not count on the cutoff date and just try to get it done by the due date. That way, if you don't feel well or you're tired or something, you know, uh, the reason why I give that grace period is because, uh, you know, people do get sick. People have kids that get sick, you know, people get flat tires, uh, you know, at work, there's an emergency and they tell you to, you know, you got to come in. So, uh, all those things happen. So I try to work with you on that, but um, uh, you know, it needs to be the exception, not the rule. If you're turning everything in late all the time, that will definitely count on your participation grade. So we do, we do have some assignments that are discussion. Um, you know, one of the things when you're in a face-to-face -face class, you get to meet each other and, you know, sometimes you know other people in the course. So I'll have you um, uh, introduce yourself to the rest of the class. And often people do know other people in the course, even online. Um, and then you will uh, at least get some sense of, um, uh, community might be too strong of a word, uh, but uh, you'll get you know relationship with the other, you'll get to see what they're doing and get to know them a little bit too by uh, through the discussion forum. All right. So each week, one to three assignments will be given that will reflect the topic we are considering. So we might even end up with a little more some weeks because we're going to be uh, squeezing in uh, 14 classes into 10 weeks. We don't have exams, but we do, we do have the midterm project and the final project. So here's your course schedule. Um, so I've taken, these would be the things that, uh, the 14 topics and uh, worked them into week 10. So <clears throat> this week, we're well, first week, we'll be doing an introduction in what is art. And then here, so you can see this uh, would be the first week. The second week, we'll do these, do this. And then, so we've got, got them kind of sc uh, scrunched in here. <laughs> scrunched. It's not an art term. So what else? Um, it's already went over late work. Uh, Student participation and online etiquette. You can go ahead and read through that. Um, mostly just be kind to each other. And I think I think you all know. Um, these are things like don't cheat, do your own work. Um, incomplete grades, we don't give them out unless there's a really, um, there's like, uh, just if you don't get your homework done, you don't get uh, incomplete. There has to be a hardship or something outstanding to have an incomplete. Uh, the academic integrity means do your own work. Um, there's one other thing. Oh yeah, we do have, <clears throat> uh, for students with disabilities, we do have um, resources here. So there's all the different kinds of disabilities. Um, uh, and 
there are, uh, the school does offer counseling for things or assistance um, for, uh, so, so, so if you have a mental health, attention, learning, chronic health, sensory or physical disability, please contact the disability services and uh, they give the phone number, it's all confidential. So if you feel like that might apply to you, reach out and get the support you need. <clears throat> all right, and there is, I think there's some more links on, on uh, Moodle also. So that is the overview of the course. So like I said, it'll be 10 weeks. Um, every week we will have uh, assignments. I'll post uh, videos and have other things for you to watch. Um, I think we, and we covered how to reach me. So I'm, I'm just re, I'm just making sure I didn't skip anything here. Um, if any, ever you have any questions, uh, please contact me, please feel free to contact me. You know, <clears throat> if I'm sitting in a face-to-face -face class, I might see somebody with a puzzled look, or they'll be asking the person next to them a question, um, you know, because maybe they didn't understand something and I can see that, but, you know, so I can say, you know, I can, I can, uh, reach out to them, but I don't, if, you know, I, uh, only way I know if you're struggling or having a problem with anything or if something's not clear is if you let me know. So I do, um, during the week, I try to check my email in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Um, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting dental surgery. So that day I might not, I don't know, but, um, you know, the, uh, most for the most part, uh, that's what I try to do so that usually I can get back with you pretty soon. Uh, I do notice a lot of times people will do things late at night. And so, uh, you know, in that case, by the next morning, usually I will catch your email. Um, but I will. And then on the weekends, you know, I might check once or twice a day. Um, so uh, let's see. I will try to be available and um, I, sometimes people feel like they're bothering me, you know, by asking questions. Um, that, no, that's what I'm here for. Uh, but hopefully my wish or my intention is that things will be clear enough that you won't have questions or you won't be wondering about something. But if you are, please let me know. Um, so I think that's it for the overview. Uh, everything else will be covered in the orientation, and uh, that's it.